So, what's up? I know it's been 10 days, man. It's I got lazy. You know, I watched some movies, TV shows, series. And I was not feeling well. So the election happened. And I'm kind of happy with the result happened. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, what's new. There's no news about GTA 6. Uh, is there going to be delay or anything? So, yeah. And this is just... I'm not 100% okay, but I'm back. And I'm going to continue to make videos, so don't worry about it. I'm back, son. Life's going to be okay. Let's make some videos. Let's talk about something. I got something to talk about. Anyway, you see this lighting? You see this? There's a light on my face. I've added something. You know, my studio is getting better. I'm, I'm going to remove this shit. This looks awful. I know this. This looks awful. I'm going to move this shit. Don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. And there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. Is... Uh... You know, I dig by GTA 6 a lot of time. You know, I got to talk about it. So, I was thinking that there are so many times that people think, I think that uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Ubisoft don't deserve Assassin's Creed, in my opinion. Because the idea of going back into 1500s, 1600s, 1100s, on the past time in the history... And being an assassin of some organization and be that. And I don't understand. I don't think that Ubisoft has done even 10% of that, of what we can have. Like, imagine if Rockstar has Assassin's Creed. How effing game we can get. I mean, Assassin's Creed 1 was okay. 2 was good. And Revelation Brotherhood was good, and three was okay, but it's not like it could have been. It could have been like the best games ever, in my opinion. It could have been a masterpiece. It could have been so good. Like we we say that Assassin's Creed is one of the best games out there, but still, if like Rockstar, even not Rockstar, Naughty Dog. If Naughty Dog have the idea of making Assassin's Creed. So I think like if Ubisoft is going to bankrupt, someone's going to take that rights. And I hope it's some good guys who are going to make Assassin's Creed like Assassin's Creed no more. And I'm not saying they bring back Altair, bring back Desmond. I'm not saying that. Okay, it's over now. So let's not make this shit. Make a new character. Okay, and what happened to the modern day story? It's dead. There's nothing in Mirage, and I don't think there's nothing's gonna be in Shadow. What I love about the Assassin's Creed is the idea of going back. Like, why are you going back and living the past life? It makes no sense. It made sense till Assassin's Creed 3, and after that, it's bullshit. I mean, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is one of the best games out there. But the modern day story feels so bad. Like, why are you doing this? Till Assassin's Creed 3, there was a threat. Now the world's gonna explode. We gotta go back in time, find the Apple of Eden. And now it's feel like Apple of Eden is dead. Nobody's talking about it. Desmond's dead. Desmond's dad. What happened to Desmond's dad? What happened to Desmond's friend? It's... I don't understand. Like, Assassin's Creed needs a serious reboot. Like, reboot the game. Bring back Desmond. Bring back the OG characters. Or make new characters but the modern day story storytelling is ending like i remember assassin's creed one or two that like we can play as desmond in two and in brotherhood and we can do some missions we can fight imagine game in 2010 i think assassin's creed 2 came in 10 probably i don't know but understand that in that game, they made the whole Rome map, and you can play as Desmond. You can fight in modern combat techniques, okay? So, in my opinion, I think Assassin's Creed needs 
a big reboot a big one like i'm not even gonna say it's uh a small one like it, it it's already happening after uh unity uh, unity or uh syndicate bring back the og character or reboot the fuck out of it like reboot this shit i'm, I'm done with this you know I'm, I'm done with this shit like just make new game okay let's start from one let's reboot the whole trilogy or maybe end the trilogy that what happened why was desmond's dad was fighting for her? and you see that in assassin's creed mirage desmond dad has one dialogue in the first of the game and then it's over the whole game is on uh Basim. i don't understand that why don't you guys make assassin's creed like the past games assassin's creed was supposed to be the main motto was game is desmond have these ancestors Ezio and Altair and he goes back in time to live the memory of their ancestors and found something find apple of the eden found history and that was the main point of the game and it ended after after assassin's creed 3 like desmond dies will they save and now it's just bullshit so i consider assassin's creed 3 as the end of the trilogy and i know that 4 is a better game but the modern storytelling in 4 is stupid. And then even though it was something else in 4, they didn't continue it. In Assassin's Creed Rogue, the modern storytelling is bullshit. All you have to do is just go to some floor and do some settings and then go back to time. That's bullshit. I remember we used to have fucking Desmond fighting all these guys with guns. Guns in Assassin's Creed. Yes. And in Assassin's Creed 4, you have the first person character who don't speak. It's basically us. And what he does, he goes to another room and does some uh, technical stuff and get back and go back in time. That's what it is. So it, it went like this. One, Assassin's Creed 1, I don't think it's a good game. It's so repetitive. I think you can make a better game. But 2 was fucking masterpiece. 2 was this. Brotherhood was this. Revelation, my opinion, was better. The best Assassin's Creed game, in my opinion. People don't say it's good, but I think it's the perfect end of Altair Nezio. The, f the ending 10 minutes is awesome. The music and Ezio is just sitting with Altair. It's, it's cinematic. But after that, uh, uh, it they took time. And then 3 happened. Connor came. And then in even in 3... Desmond does some mission, okay? I remember Desmond goes uh, up to the building and fight. So that was interesting that you go back in time and then in modern time you do something. But now it's over. Like modern day storytelling in Assassin's Creed is over. All you have to do is just go back in time and do stuff and the game ended. And that is not the Assassin's Creed. That's some history game. I don't understand. The whole point of Assassin's Creed is brotherhood. Assassin's Creed. Creed means something. And now it doesn't. It's just some old story. That it happened in Japan. It happened in Rome. It happened in any other country. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I'm not a big fan of this. I won. Even though Desmond is dead. I mean, add some new character. Add some character who is doing something. Why are you going back in time? Why? I don't understand. It was supposed to be something. You're supposed to do something. And now you're not doing it. And it's bullshit. So, and Ubisoft is effed. Like, nobody's buying Assassin's Creed. And as a hardcore Assassin's Creed fan, it upsets me. Even though I like other games more, but Assassin's Creed, I grew up playing Assassin's Creed, dude. It's not even close. Yeah, the graphics better, the mechanics better, but the storytelling is not even close. Do you think Shadow's gonna be that? No. And I'm not talking about how, you know, the LGBTQ thing and um, it's not my thing, okay? I'm not gonna comment on that, even though I did. But I remember 
the storytelling. Like, remember Assassin's Creed 2? You know, the whole story of Ezio, he was a boy, and that his parents got murdered in front of everyone. Like, happened. It used to happen in the 1500s. And then Ezio became an assassin and took his revenge and became the assassin. And in Brotherhood, the character development happened. And in Assassin's Creed Revolution, he's old, he's calm, and he's doing his last mission. And then he ends his life, not ends his life, he ends his mission after finding Altair for what Altair did. And he knows Ezio's the character who talks to Desmond. So Ezio breaks the fourth wall. Ezio is the main character. Of this show. Remember the Assassin's Creed ending? He talks to Desmond. So he fucking knows that shit. That yeah, I'm being watched. Somebody's watching me. I'm here to do something. That was peak. Peak Assassin's Creed. Remember? When Ed- Ezio says Desmond? Like how the hell he knows? That was that was something else. And now it's different. It's 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 diversity. You know? Let's make this game diverse. Okay. What's about the story? Ah, let's add something, you know. Let's go to Japan. Let's add Samurai. It's gonna be awesome, right? What about the story? What about Desmond? What happened to his dad? What happened to his friend? Desmond's dead. I know that. So they don't have any plans. What they are doing is they're just going on studio and they're thinking they're making Assassin's Creed, but they're just making a history game, okay? It's not Assassin's Creed. How many times I have to tell you this? That it's not Assassin's Creed. It's not. I'm sorry if that hurts you, but it is not. I remember playing Assassin's Creed, and that shit was so good. Like, Desmond has a thing. Desmond goes back in time, and then he wakes up, and we can do some modern day mission. The Assassin's Creed mission, I think, uh, the modern day mission in 3 was awesome. Like, Desmond became Desmond. Mo- you know, the p- parkour, I remember Assassin's Creed 3 when we go back as Desmond and when, did, when we do the parkour thing. It was amazing, dude. We're doing building, building things. Imagine, the developer made that. They made the 1776 uh, Washington and uh, New York and Boston map and then they made the modern time map and now they're doing is nothing they're not doing graphics you know the thing is in modern day gaming all you see is better graphics that's all not even the facial expression like people talk emotionless and then they make this trailer like oh my god this is cinema and then the actual game came and it's dog shit it's dog shit and ubisoft does this from assassin's creed 1 you see the trailer and you see the game, it's it's bullshit. You see Assassin's Creed Revolution trailer, it looks like a fucking movie. And then the actual game came, it's not even close. It happened in Watch Dogs 1. So first they make a cinematic trailer, which is dark shit, that it didn't happen. So they set up expectation there, and then the graphics is there. But you know why? You know what? Uh, Assassin's Creed 1, 2... Brotherhood walked because of that goddamn story. The story was awesome. You love the character. You loved it. You love the side characters. And now you don't love any. Ezio is like my favorite. Everyone's favorite. (sighs) So I don't know. This is getting out of hand. Uh, I just want to say that release Shadow and reboot this shit. Or you, if you're getting bankrupt, sell this to any better company. Sell this to Naughty Dog or Rock. I don't think Rockstar's gonna buy that. But do something. Or even make Ubisoft. You are the one studio that used to make Watch Dogs. Far Cry. And that game, uh, Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell. You used to make games like that. And now you're making this garbage. And I'm not saying garbage because it has gay characters. I don't oppose that, okay? Diversity is important. I'm a brown person, okay? I would love to see Assassin's Creed India. Make that shit. Make it. Assassin's Creed India would be huge because Assassin's Creed has to go on some place that has history. And India has a big fucking history. 
So make Assassin's Creed India. What are you doing? You're not doing that shit. Okay, what are you doing is... Yes, Japan is, I think, one of the best places to go back in history. The samurai culture of Japan is awesome. And they did that, but they did it dirty, man. The story is going to be trash. I'm telling you right now that the Assassin's Creed Mirage. What's that story? What is he doing? What is Basim doing? Basim is just emotionless rip off of Altair. He's not even close. He's not even 1% of Altair. Even though he has good graphics, better mechanics, it's shit. Yeah, you have that better graphics of that uh, sand and you can do your thing. But I think it's not even close, bro. So do something about it. And I'm tired of buying Assassin's Creed and playing like, oh, it's another Assassin's Creed game. Wow, I'm so excited, you know. And that's why I I suck a dick of Rockstar every time. Because you see any Rockstar game trailer, and then you see the any Rockstar actual game. It is better, okay? I've seen people complain about GTA 6, that Assassin's Creed trailer looks better than GTA 6. Yeah, of course, because it's not cinematic, it's fucking game. Ubisoft has a fucking... Uh, animator team that they make trailers off it's, it looked like a movie and then in game it's bullshit rockstar don't do that rockstar make trailers of that game so what are you seeing in gta 6 trailer it's gonna be better than that the game's gonna be better than that you see gta 5 trailer, it look like shit if you see that right now and if you play gta 5 it's not even close bro yeah i've seen some video about it that rockstar uh GTA 5 trailer was better. Yeah, there's some uh, part of it. But if you see the graphics part of it, you see when they when the plane goes off from the grass, it don't look good. Okay, Michael looks like shit when he uh, sits with Dr. Friedlander in the trailer. And then you see the game. It's better. And that's what I'm going to say, that Rockstar don't do that shit. Same with Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog makes some good graphics games. Some good shit. But the thing with Naughty Dog is, they don't have to make that open world. So Uncharted, uh, uh, Last of Us, it's not open world. But Rockstar make open world games. Rockstar made Red Dead 2. Play Red Dead 2. Play that in high graphics. You can do shit. Imagine GTA 6 gonna come. It's gonna be, I don't think GTA 6 gonna be like, so good. So, I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm not, I don't think like it's going to be real like I'm looking. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a Red Dead 2 kind of graphics in modern time. It's just going to be that, I think. With better, uh, 0.5% or it may be 5 to 10% better than R Red Dead 2. It's not going to be so great. But you can do shit in that game, man. You can drive cars. You can do, damn, whatever you think. And even, they're doing social media in the games. Imagine tweeting in GTA 6. I can tweet the hell I want. And people are going to react to that shit. That's what GTA 6 is offering. Drive our channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching this video till now. And thank you. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be better. Just subscribe to our channel. And help us. Support us. Thank you. Bye.